Hello everyone, Todd Halleck here talking to you today about estate taxes. When a client comes to my office to plan their estate, one of the main concerns they always have is estate taxes. They're worried about how much the government is going to take out of what they've accumulated over a lifetime and how can they prevent that from happening. So I thought today I'd talk a little bit about estate taxes and how they're determined. So the way that the government determines how much you owe in estate taxes is first, we look at the gross value of everything that you own as of the date of your death. And we come up with what that number is. Next, we reduce that by debts that you owe at the time of your death. And then third, we add back in any lifetime gifts that you've given that were taxable. And those three things tell us the total of your taxable estate. Now, once we know your taxable estate, how do we know how much you owe? Well, currently at the federal level, and most states follow the federal level, there's an estate tax exemption, meaning you can have that number of, of, in, in terms of value in your estate at the time of your death, and as long as you don't exceed that, there's no tax that's owed. Presently, that number is $11.7 million per person, $23.4 million for a couple. So pretty high numbers to have a taxable estate. The tax is paid on the difference between the exemption and the taxable estate. And right now, that tax rate is 40%. Now the thing to remember about the estate tax exemption is that this is a function of, of law and that law can be changed at any time by Congress. Right now, it's at 11.7 million per person. That law will actually expire if it's not extended or made permanent by the end of, end of 2025. So starting in January 2026, if nothing has happened, we'll go back to the prior law, which was 5 million per person, indexed for inflation, which would roughly put the exemption at about six million dollars per person. There's actually uh, at least one bill presently pending uh, before Congress uh, that would reduce that exemption down to three and a half million per person. That's the level that it was last in 2009. So the exemption changes and we have to pay attention to that and we have to plan accordingly. Additionally, the other thing you should remember is not every state follows the federal exemption rules. Some states have their own state exemption. So you may not owe anything at the federal level, but if your state has a, a lower exemption, you may still owe estate taxes at the state level. The important thing to remember is most of the time, even for very large estates, if you're well planned, you still should not owe any estate taxes at death, regardless of what that exemption is. There's a lot of things that you can do between now and the time you pass away to minimize the impact of estate taxes on your estate. I hope this has helped you understand estate taxes a little better and understand how we figure those out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. And if you enjoyed this video and felt that you learned something from it, please like and subscribe and, and share it with others. We sure appreciate you. We hope you uh, will come back to this channel and, and, and view our future videos and view those that we've already uh, put on in the past. And we hope you find them helpful and, and, and beneficial to you. Thank you.